Hi, I'm Greg. And today I'm going to show you a really cool mod invented by my friend Peter from TagParty.net. This mod is called the Magic Drone Mod because after you do this mod, you can literally remove the battery tray and the unit will still function. If a player drops his tagger or falls down hard or swings it or jerks it too hard, the battery is inside the tray and the battery tray itself can move just enough for a split second to force the batteries to lose contact thereby removing power from the CPU causing it to lock up. And there's nothing more sad than a kid who comes back with a tagger that died just because he dropped it. Now the first thing we need to do is take off the tagger shell so that we can get to the insides. I usually leave the screws in the holes so they don't have to worry about them rolling away. I take these screws all the way out because they don't like to stay in their holes. Once we have the screws unscrewed we can take off the left side shell. It comes off fairly easily. Put that aside. Make sure these screws don't roll away. And we're ready for the next step. Once we have the left side of the shell removed, the next thing to do is to pull out the keyboard and move it out of the way so that we have access to the CPU power line. Just slide it carefully up. Sometimes you need to pull the screen up a little bit too. And then just carefully twist it around. Make sure the wires aren't caught on anything. And just push it out of the way. What we're going for is this brown wire right there. Now I'm using this tin can here to help me hold my tagger in place. And I get a good grip on the power wire there. So that as soon as I warm up the solder, it'll just pull out. Move that out of the way. And make sure there's no glue stuck back there. It looks pretty clean. Now we've got our super capacitor here, and we check out the capacitor to make sure we've got it lined up. We've got plus on one side, and minus on the other. Also, the lead for the plus is a little bit longer. We want the plus side to go in where the brown wire was going in. You can see they're a little bit far apart, so I usually bend it inwards a little bit so that they'll fit into those holes. When we're ready to do that, I hold that back there, and I warm up the solder in the hole and just push it through. There we go. Let that cool off real quick. Now the next step is to put a little solder on the negative side where we have this convenient little ground hole. We'll just do that real quick. That looks pretty good. Once we've got that, now we need to put that CPU wire back where it was. Okay, bend that puppy around a bit. And hold it in place. And warm that back up. Cool it off on there pretty good. Once you're done with all the wiring, you can put the screen back in. Again, be real careful of the other wires. Slide that in place. And make sure nothing catches. Slide both parts back into the other half. Come on. And before you put it all back together, Put some batteries in there. Just make sure it fires up. There we go. And we'll start again real quick. Now, 
the capacitor is charging up while the battery tray is even in there. And we'll just let it sit there for a few seconds, make sure it gets a good charge. Try some charge for the fun of it. Overheat for the fun of it. And then just to make sure the capacitor is doing its job, we pull the battery tray. Moment of truth here. There we go. Magic. That's magic right there. And the clock is still counting. Of course, if I fire a few shots, then the CPU will be... Yeah, it's already dying off there. But we don't need that long anyways. We only need a split second for when the kid drops the tagger or shakes it really hard. So now we know that's working. We put it back together. Almost done. Just need to put it back together. And then we'll have our finished magic drone. LTTO tagger. Just because it's fun to do, fire it up again, and pull the batteries out one more time. Good luck.